Let's see. <clears throat> um, there are really a tremendous number of changes uh, between the last uh, Starship flight and this one. Um, but, I mean, well over a thousand. Um, so I, I think the probability of this this next uh, flight working is uh, or getting to orbit is much higher than the last one. Um, you know, maybe it's like sixty percent. It, it depends on how well the we do at stage separation. So we, we, we made a uh, sort of late breaking change of that's really quite significant to the way that stage separation works, which is to use a uh, hot hot staging, what's called hot staging, um, where we light the engines of the uh, upper stage or ship um, while the, the, the first stage or booster, booster stage uh, engines are still on. So, so we, we shut down most of the engines on the booster, leaving just a few uh, running. Um, and, and then at the same time, um, start the engines on the ship or upper stage, um, which you're gonna, obviously that results in kind of blasting the, the booster. So then you've got to protect the boost, the, the, the top of the boost stage from getting incinerated by the uh, upper stage engines. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this is uh, something that the Soviets and the Russians have used quite a bit in their rocket designs. Um, the performance, there's a, there's, there's a meaningful payload to, to orbit advantage with hot staging um, that, you know, is conservatively about a 10% improvement. Well, depends on, on what it's being compared to, but let's say in this case, roughly 10% improvement in payload to orbit. Uh, if, if, you, if you basically just never stop thrusting. <laughs> um, so... Uh, <laughs> that, 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 that's a that, that, that's a quote. That sounds uh, like a T-shirt. That's a T-shirt. Yeah, never stop thrusting, Elon Musk. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> but, it, but it, you know, basically, the moment the rocket stops uh, its engines, uh, it's it, it it actually it starts falling. So, uh, so you actually want to you, you don't want to be coasting. You don't want to be in a situation where the engines are not on because you just immediately start falling back to Earth, um, unless you're already in orbit. So, so you, you want to have you, you want to have a to kind of a non-stop thrust situation. Um, I think we also had some concerns about. Um, so, uh, so. Um, See, um, so yes, uh, so you want to just, um, you, like I said, you want to start the uh, ship engines before the before you've completely shut down the booster engines. Um, in order to do this, you actually have to uh, uh, have vents, uh, or, or, or you know, so that, that basically the super hot plasma from the. Uh, upper stage engine's got to go somewhere. Um, so we, we're adding an extension to the booster uh, that has, that uh, is, is almost all vent, essentially. Uh, so that allows the, uh, the upper stage engine um, uh, plume to uh, go, go through the, the, the sort of vented extension of the booster um, and not just blow itself up. Um, so this is the, the most risky thing, I think, for the next flight. Um, and we'll have to have, add, add a bunch of shielding to the top of the booster. 